What is going on guys, today I'm back, my name is KJ, AK Oxcharter, and if you're new around here, then welcome, and if you've been around for a while, then welcome back. I've been spending quite a bit of time on TikTok recently, as much as that pains me to say, but I've been seeing a lot of life hacks, and some of them seem so stupid that they can't be true. So today, I've got like 10 or 11 life hacks saved on my phone that I'm going to be testing out, seeing if they actually work, seeing if they're lies, seeing if they're actually helpful in the first place. So the first life hack we're going to be testing out, it's not really a life hack, but it's a trick that I've seen. I'll play the video right now. So I'm sure you guys have seen this video, this guy sticks himself to the pole, and he wraps his legs around it, and apparently he can't get out but there's no there's no way that's true so there's a pole right over there we're gonna go test it out there's no way it's gonna work but let's go really quick i think i should be the one to do it since i'm really weak okay so i'm here with taylor she was actually filming taylor's gonna try it first because she doesn't have a lot of upper body strength so <laughs> if she can't do it then there's still hope for me being able to do it okay go down i can't are you all the way down yeah. okay now try to stand up <laughs> Hey, you did it. I'm actually pretty surprised. That hurt my hand because it's cold. Okay, so now you gotta sit like this, right? Mm -hmm. Am I doing it right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> That was the easiest thing I've literally ever if done. Okay, I don't know why they were saying that's impossible. She could do it, I could do it easily. Guys, let me know if I was doing it right. I'm pretty sure we were, but that was that was so easy. <laughs> okay, next life hack. So it is pretty cold outside, but me and Taylor are about to do a race to see who can get out of zip ties the fastest. If you haven't seen this TikTok, basically, if you get your hands zip tied together, you can use your shoelaces to kind of rub it up against the zip tie and it'll burn through it. I'm not Bill Nye, okay? But it'll help you get out, essentially. I have high confidence that this will work, but unfortunately, the Crocs are gonna have to come off. I have some other shoes here. These are stupid. But yeah, I need laces just for this. So I just bought some zip ties at the store right before I filmed this. They were way too small to be useful. That's what she said. But I basically had to put two together. Okay, so as you see, I got my hands locked together. Kind of kinky, not gonna lie. We both got our hands tied now, and we both got shoes with laces. Three, two, one, go. Got it. What? Already? <laughs> Got him. So it's probably not gonna focus, but as you can see here, this just completely snapped in half. This is a good tip to get out of zip ties if you're ever being kidnapped and you have shoes with laces on them. I never have shoes with laces on them because I always wear Crocs because Crocs are the best shoe in the world. Are you still working on it? Okay, go. Just like this? <laughs> yeah. And if you are being kidnapped, don't just try to run away because your shoes will still be tied together and you'll just fall on your face and everyone will laugh at you. The next hack is how to get into a locked car. So if for some reason you lock your keys in your car or you want to break into another person's car, I'm kidding, don't do that. But basically with one tennis ball, apparently you can get into a locked car. I have like zero faith that this is going to work, but we're still going to try just for the video. Okay, so I've got a tennis ball here. It's not really a tennis ball, it's like a dog toy, but it's close enough to a tennis ball. And I got a pair of scissors that would be used by like a kindergartner. Okay, so I'm going to try to cut a hole in here so that I can unlock my car. That was a satisfying sound. So I've got a little hole in the tennis ball now. It's it, a hole in the ball? Yeah, it's- It looks like a heart. It does look like a heart, I was just about to say that. So I got my keys to my car here. I'm going to open the door, put them on the seat right there. I'm going to lock the door, close it. My keys are in there. Hopefully this works so I can drive my car. It's, it's over the keyhole, right? You just push it like that and Let it's supposed see. to unlock. Let me see. Look, right? Yeah, it's right? a keyhole. You just put it right there and it's supposed to unlock. Oh my god, it unlocked my car. I can drive it again, huh? Of course it didn't freaking work, okay? There's, there's literally no chance this was gonna work. It's a, it's a whole. Okay, next one. I use my spare set of keys, okay? Go there's, get it. Go get it. <laughs> Better put that whole thing in. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Stop. Next TikTok life hack. <laughs> so the next life hack is being able to unlock any iPhone by doing some weird button pressing. I'll put the video up now. So I have an iPhone 7 Plus. Yes, you can roast me in the comments. In the video, it looks like they have like an iPhone 10 or 11 or something. I'm assuming this isn't gonna work, but if it doesn't work, then it might just be because I have an older phone and maybe on the new phones it actually does work. So you'll have to try it out for yourself. All right, so the first thing you do is you gotta turn the brightness down and the volume down. And then turn Bluetooth off. 
turn Wi-Fi off and then turn cellular data off and then turn on night mode. Do not disturb. And then airplane mode. That's do not disturb. Do not disturb mode, and sorry. Mode. And then airplane mode. And then turn your flashlight on. And then oh, go to your calculator. My brightness is coming up. Go to your calculator. Okay, now press the home button. So oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to press the home button because my fingerprint isn't in there. Why did you look at that? It didn't freaking work. Like I said, it could be because I have an older phone that didn't work and it might only work on the newer phones like the X and the 11 Plus Pro Max Ultra 4 something. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to try that out for yourself, but it did not work for me. So we're gonna move on to the next TikTok life hack. Okay, so for the next life hack, we're here in the bathroom now and I'm going to try to get a crinkled dollar bill and make it as straight as possible. I can't help with that. She's gay. I'm going to get some money right out of my wallet Okay, so I got a $100 bill right here. I really hope this works and it doesn't burn my $100 bill because I would be very sad. It's already a little wrinkly as you can tell, but oh my God, this pains me oh, so that, much. That hurts. This hurts. Oh, I, oh, that hurts so bad. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> unravel it now. <laughs> He's not too happy about it. Okay, so I have the hair straightener now. Oh. Yo, wait, it's actually like straight now. <laughs> Can we use that on me? <laughs> it's actually nice and crisp now. I mean, it's not super crisp, but yo, this is so cool. That's awesome. But thanks for not burning my $100 bill. So yeah, I'm not gonna be losing any money today, so this is going right back in my wallet. Wait, that just made your hair longer. Okay, so with that last life hack being a total success, the next one also has to do with a hair straightener. I got a bag of popcorn kernels right here, and we are going to try to make some popcorn with this thing right here. Okay, so we got a little kernel here, and because the straightener is already hot, I'm not just gonna like touch it because I'm gonna burn my freaking hand off. So I'm gonna try to throw it and catch it in here like, like this. I'm gonna try to be super fast, ready? Okay, ready, I got this. Got it. Just gotta have it in here long enough for it to work. Okay, so I've been holding it here for probably around 30 to 45 seconds. Nothing has happened. I just turned the hair straightener up. It's on max heat, I guess. I don't want to stop recording because I know as soon as I stop recording, it's gonna pop. Okay, so it's been a little over a minute now. Still nothing has happened. I don't know if I just gotta wait longer. I don't know if something's about to happen, but I'm kind of losing all hope for this one. Maybe we just got a dud one? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna try a different one because I've been waiting for now like two minutes and still nothing has happened. Okay, so this is the one that was in there for a while. As you can see, it's kind of got a little burn mark on it, so I don't know if that means it was gonna work or that just means it was gonna burn it. Okay, so we got round two. This one's kind of off to the side a little bit. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but this one's kind of off to the side. Hopefully that doesn't make it any more difficult. Okay, so for the next life hack, I'm gonna be trying to open a locked door. So if you see in the video, it says to cut this card in a weird way and then slip it through, it should work. But I've got this card here that it's pretty bendy. I feel like it'll work pretty well. I don't think I'm gonna have to cut it. So we're gonna see if this works. Okay, Taylor, you're gonna lock yourself in the bathroom and I'm gonna try to get in. Don't come in, mom. <laughs> okay, so it's locked now, I can't get in. I'm gonna try to use this and slip it around the corner. Yo, it actually worked. Okay. Yo, okay, that was insane. I actually didn't think it was gonna work because I don't know how it was gonna go around the corner, but this card is a little bit thinner than normal credit cards, so it was able to like turn around the corner to unlock the door. Holy crap, that's amazing. Okay, that is a very useful life hack. Okay, so we're outside of Walmart right now and inside there's a little gumball machine and there's a life hack that gets you free gumballs essentially. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have to go in and get some quarter, I'll, I'll buy something, get change. I'll show you the TikTok right now. Basically, you like turn it a little bit and then turn it like back and forth. Anyway, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna go inside, buy something, get some change and we'll try it out. Also outside there's some vending machines and there is another life hack that I wanna try with vending machines, but these are all like new newer so they don't have a little keypad. So I don't think these are gonna work. We're gonna go inside and try to do the gumball one. <laughs> okay, so I got two quarters here. Do you think this is gonna work? No. You don't think this is gonna work? Okay, basically you just put it in like that and then you go like that and then you go back and forth. Only one came out. Okay, so apparently you just do this a couple times. I think I heard one. Okay, so unfortunately that didn't work, but 
So now we're gonna go try to find another vending machine that has a little pin pad on it. So we've been driving around for a little bit and we couldn't find an old fashioned vending machine, the one that has like a little number pad on it. So unfortunately we're gonna have to skip that one, but I don't think it was gonna work anyway, so I'm not too heartbroken about that. So we went to Fred Meyer looking for a vending machine. And as we're walking back to the car, Taylor makes a joke about wanting to get hit by a car. It's cold and I didn't want to be cold, so I was making a joke. And right as she made that joke, this guy comes speeding down the parking lot and he swerves to hit us. And then like right at the last second, he's probably two feet away from us. He like swerves away really quick. I'm looking at it, I'm like watching it the whole time and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And then he just turns away and then he just goes to get gas at the Fred Meyer gas. It was kind of scary because I'm like, is this guy like joking, trying to hit us? I was so confused, so. He's not being over dramatic, guys. That like, yeah. that actually happened. Dude, like he literally almost hit us. He did, yeah, he almost hit us. It was yeah, it was, it, it was weird. Okay, so anyway, we're at Starbucks now to try out our last hack of the video. I'm sure you guys have all seen this hack, but essentially you get a tall drink with no ice, and then you get a venti drink with just ice, and then you pour the tall drink into the venti drink with just ice, and then it's a full venti drink for the price of a tall. Good evening, welcome to Starbucks. This is Kylie, how can I help you? Hi, can I please get a tall strawberry refresher with no ice? And can I also get a venti cup with just ice in it? Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Okay, come on around. It's Good good job, Taylor. 345. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Good you too. Okay, so we got a full venti cup of just ice and then we got a tall strawberry refresh or something. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and this is a pori cup like you said. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Yo. Now we got a venti drink for the price of a tall. Okay, so this was like $3 where if I were to get a venti drink, it would be like $6. I'm out here saving money with all these videos, it's costing so much. Gotta have a way to save money. Cage, if we, were, if we weren't filming this video, you never would have spent those $3. All right, so that was the last life hack. We were going to head home now because it's freezing cold out here, so. <laughs> you doing okay, Taylor? No. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more life hacks like this, then let me know with a comment down below if you want to see a part two. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Taylor, can I end the video? You don't own me.